so this is the aws mock interview okay this is the aws mock interview day 3 we already conducted two aws mock interviews okay if anyone missed this that mock interview no need to worry the recording was already updated in the youtube channel go to playlist section there is a aws mock interview okay sorry aws interview question and answers there you can find out so i am just expecting at least 25 likes on this video if i get that we will are going to upload the next day for mock interview okay and this session is recording that's the reason you can able to watch this video in the youtube next session will not be recorded if i get likes then only we are going to record okay that's it or oh, just give me a moment i will be back yeah sorry i am back so yeah yeah hi sunil hi sunil i am audible yeah yeah you are audible Okay, can you able to introduce yourself? Don't reveal your uh, genuine experience. Just reveal like whatever you know, the fake. Just tell me like your total experience. Uh, thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Sunil from Bagalkot. I completed a BCA uh, in the year of 2017, and after that, I joined uh, uh, networking. So uh, then I completed. and i have a 3 years of experience in uh, uh, devops and the cloud infrastructure super super sunil thank you so much for that but one thing remember you as you are kept keeping experience you are uh, like how uh, how much you are planning you keep uh, to keep experience actually to be frank i have a uh, 5 years of experience in uh, networking but i don't uh, have experience in the aws and devops super no issues you can keep that five years as experience okay. and tell them that you worked on devops no no issues they are not going to check you are worked on uh, internally and check uh, go and check that you really okay. worked on that but okay. as you are kepting five years you okay. should not mention your college name and and all you should mention i have five years experience okay. and working on so and so company okay that's it you no need to tell about the graduation and all no. only fresher will going to reveal that as no. we are professionals okay okay no one is interested on that yeah Because actually the, this is my first mic interview <laughs> i don't know how yes is yes, definitely we are you are going to learn okay okay because nowadays people don't know like how to tell that so the interviewers are tracking that and uh, they are just rejecting int- like they are not uh, scheduling the interviews so we need to know some tactics then only we are going to survive and sunil you are perfect your communication was perfect just you need to have you just you to practice more okay. so like whatever you have right if you want a script right definitely i am going to provide you a script what you need to do you just text me your experience how much you want to keep and i, I will send you which tools you are perfect okay. give me first that tool accordingly okay. i will provide a script for, for you okay you need to practice that in front of mirror whenever okay. i ask you the next time right okay you need to practice that and you need to explain me the same for the first time it's okay okay note down in your mobile notepad whenever okay. i ask you you okay. just read it out for the first time okay for the next mock interview okay. once we ex- like attending multiple mock interviews right then after you need to answer me without watching okay okay sure same uh, applies for all not only you same it will apply for all okay shall we start the mock sunil yes sir you are going to participate in this mock you are you know aws yeah yes super okay i will share my screen okay okay Can you able to see my screen? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we already conducted two AWS mock interviews. Okay, if you are missed that, you can watch it in the playlist playlist section. There are already uploaded two AWS mock interviews. That this is the continuation of that mock interviews. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Whoever watching this video on the YouTube, please like this video so that we will get motivation. 
to conduct more mock interviews so first question is what is an abs volume right and how does it differ from instance store volumes simple question what is an abs volume for your ec2 instance also you will get a volume right yes so that is a instance store what is the difference between that how does it differ from instance store volume if you know try to answer it if you don't know just uh, tell me pass i will pass to next question sir basically ebs volume is a uh, elastic block storage yes you are right so data is uh, so the next one how does it differ from instance storage yes so pass so anyone want to try sir can i attend yeah definitely you can try so sir elastic uh, ebs is uh, elastic block storage uh, and whereas instance store volume is the volume which uh, uh, is already present in the volume like whenever we create a new instance at the time uh, we create a volume as well like how much volume uh, we required uh, to attach to the instance whereas ebs is the extra volume which we want to add in the instance like Super. if in case Uh, yes instance right. volume is get full and we want to increase the uh, volume size in that case we purchase a ebs and uh, we mount that ebs to instance and create yes. a partition okay like let us discuss in like more on this okay after few mm-hmm. minutes you are right i am not telling you no so next question will be how do you create a am nothing but amazon machine image from an ec2 instance okay and why would you do this simple i i have one ec2 instance running okay from that ec2 instance i want to create a ami image why i will create that ami image what is my necessary that's For the taking question. the backup okay you are right from one instance super you are right anyone want to try uh sir we uh take uh, ami or uh, if in case we want to uh, like create a copy or we can say clone of the particular instance in that case also we can uh, create ami so that uh, it will work as a template for that instance if we want to uh create one more right. same type you are right S- template if someone ask me the same question right what i will tell what i will do i will make i will use it as a template for creating a new ec2 instance why like for suppose i have created one ec2 instance in that ec2 instance my java was installed my maven was installed my jenkins was installed i don't want to install these three softwares again at the time what i can do i can create a ami image out of it using that ami image i will create one more ec2 instance so that i will get a server with already three software installed will it save my time or not yes sir so in the next interview if anyone ask you tell this example okay shall we go to next question what is an ec2 hibernate and when would you use it anyone want to try so silence make no one knows let's go to next question how do you configure ec2 auto recovery okay and what is its benefits Okay. Again, silence. Never want to try. Uh, like uh, auto recovery means uh, if we uh, set auto scaling, so whenever the EC2 machines will delete, it will create automatically. It is auto scaling. No. It's now yeah. we are talking about auto recovery. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can mute yourself. Getting some background noise. If you are not uh, talking right, please mute because. 
whenever you going to watch this video in the YouTube, right? Other people will not have disturbance. So in the last mock interview, right? Sunil, uh, from your side, I got uh, like more like uh, background voice. Yes, sir. I mute. I will mute. I'm just uh, telling you because in the next mock interview, whenever you participate, right? Even if you want to rewatch the same video, you will not get irritation while watching. Okay. From my side, I, uh, you will not get any background voice. Yeah, there there are some background voice getting from my side, but it will be not recorded because I purchased a headset of noise cancellation, which which is cost nearly 25k plus. Okay, because I'm using that type of headset. That's the reason. From my side, you will not get it. If you get, even though you will get very less voice. Okay, and I will up upgrade my headset in future as well, so that at the end, whoever watching, right, they should feel comfortable. From my side, is there any disturbances? No, right? Is it clear, smooth, or hard? Yeah, it's clear. Oh, thank you so much. So, what is an Amazon EC2 fleet? Last question. How does it differ from auto scaling group? Okay, shall we check the answers for all these questions? Yeah. Okay. So first question, what is an EBS volume? How does it differ from instant store volume? So EBS, nothing but elastic block store. So position block store that can be attached to an EC2 instance. So data is preserved even after EC2 instance is stopped or terminated. Support features like snapshots, encryption, and resizing. So instance store volume is temporary storage that is physically attached to your running EC2 instance. Data is lost if the instance is stopped or terminated. Okay, typically used for temporary data such as cache and buffers. That is the difference. So Akash, you are right. Whatever you said, it's an extra storage for your EC2 instance. How do you create an AMI? from an EC2 instance and how like why would you do this first you need to stop the instance okay create image go to EC2 console select the instance click on actions image create image okay configure image provide a name description and select the vol volume to include create click on create image so to create a backup of an instance to create a golden image for launching multiple instances with the same configuration for disaster recovery and migration purposes. So next question is what is an EC2 Hibernate and when would you use it? EC2 Hibernate allows you to pause and resume your instances by saving instance state memory to the root EBS volume. When the instance is restarted, it returns to previous state. Use cases application that take long time to initialize. Like for suppose, do you use Hibernate option? For my system, there is no Hibernate option. But if you are using Windows 7, right? At that time, we have a Hibernate option. Yes, yes or no? For the laptops, whenever I execute power button, there is there is an Hibernate option for my laptop. What it will do? Whenever you start again, what are the application? Like for suppose, if I open this Visual Studio Code, I will get the same state of my system. Okay, all application will be getting back. So application that take long to initialize like for suppose if my visual studio code taking too much of time to open So at the time what I can do I can hibernate the system So next time whenever I open my laptop my visual studio code will not take time. It will automatically open Okay, long running process that needs to be passed Okay, with the same thing process cost saving during period of inactivity without losing application state So how do you configure easy to auto recovery? And what are its benefit? So create a CloudWatch alarm. Go to CloudWatch console. Create an alarm based on instance health metrics. Okay. Choose recover this instance as uh, as the alarm action. 
benefit automatically requires instance dot fail due to hardware issues minimize downtime by automatically launching a new instance with the same configuration and choose high availability and reliability of an application like for suppose i have an ec2 instance running okay what i will do i will go to the cloudwatch alarm i will set i will create an alarm require this instance i will tell hey if this ec2 instance was removed due to some reasons try to create one more ec2 instance will my time was saved or not that is the benefit or not automatically request instance that failed due to hardware issues minimize downtime by automatically launching a new instance with the same configuration and choose high availability and reliability of the application so next next time whenever ask what is easy to auto recovery will you be able to answer next question what is amazon yes, ec2 yes. fleet how does it differ from an auto scaling group no one will ask this question okay but i am making you ready for all what is an amazon ec2 fleet how does it differ from an auto scaling group definitely they will ask what is auto scaling group okay in the ec2 sorry in, in uh, interviews answer amazon ec2 fleet allows you to launch a and manage a fleet of ec2 instances across different instance types available by zones and purchase options optimize cost by blending spot and on demand instances nothing but ec2 fleet is nothing but it will automatically create a ec2 instance mixing of ec2 instances it will, it will take on demand it will take it will take spot instances okay depending upon your instance types and availability zones and whatever your purchase options budget limit it will automatically create that type of ec2 instances and it will manage so that's what i mentioned allow you to launch and manage a fleet of ec2 instances across different instance types available zones purchase option that to mix of on demand reserved and spot optimizes cost by blending spot and on demand instances so manages a group of ec2 instances within a single instance type and purchase options automatically adjust the number of instances based on demand using an auto scaling group so so what auto scaling group will do it will manage the group of instances what ac2 uh, ec2 fleet also manage the ec2 instances but here what it will do it will optimize the cost ec2 fleet here it will adjust the number of instances okay now time was over now people are joining okay so that's it for this mock interview i will stop the recording